All right, all right, all right. So let's start with the characters that we're actually gonna want to do. So we're gonna we're just gonna go down the tier list, my tier list. I think I'm gonna do the Mount Rushmores in alphabetical order so that no one is like, oh, why'd you put this person above this person? Because it doesn't matter if you're on this, you're fucking insane. What do you mean by Rushmore? Do you know what Mount Rushmore is? So for those of you who I guess who don't know what Mount Rushmore is, Mount Rushmore is a, it's a face cliff in one of the Midwest states, South Dakota. And it's basically just a monument of four really, really monumental uh, United States figures. And so when people say like the Mount Rushmore or something, they're like, oh, this person super fucking like was influential for this character. Not necessarily best, but like I would say most influential or most impactful in some way. Who the fuck doesn't know Mount Rushmore? Non-Americans. Anyone who doesn't live in America? <laughs> well, why would a non-American know this? Okay, so I think we know three for Fox. I think these three are just completely uncontent, un completely uncontested, right? We can all agree these three are gonna be on Fox no matter what. SVAT's kind of a shoe in My struggle with SVAT was never winning a major. I almost like Chillin more than SVAT. I feel like Chillin was actually so overlooked for what he did for Fox. I feel like you have, I almost feel like it's insane not to have Chillin here. I do agree SVAT was nuts, but Mount Rushmore isn't just like how good you are. It was influence. And Chillin pretty much invented modern Fox. Cobol, I'm sorry. Cobol and Silent Wolf don't have more influence than any of these like six players that we've mentioned. I do not think there's a universe where Silent Wolf, God bless Otto's soul, was more influential than Chillin. I think Armada is definitely in the conversation somewhere, but it's just not where Chillin or SVAT is. I agree SVAT's longevity is crazy, but how much of an impact did SVAT have like on Fox is my question blur. PC's Fox doesn't deserve a spot here for the two years it was like PC was like a great Fox, but he was also a dual mate. Like, I don't think it's people understand how crazy Chillin was. Hack's not in. I don't think Hacks would be on here for Fox. No, Hacks invented a meme. Hacks will go on Falcon, that's for sure. I actually think Hacks probably has a spot on Falcon. I think this one is pretty indisputable for Fox. So Falco is just Mango. I think pretty clearly. I think PPMD pretty clearly. I do think PC Chris pretty clearly, but less clearly, but like pretty clearly. West Balls. West Balls deserves a mention for stunting Falco's growth for five years. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wes. Wes had a style that just didn't age well and every Falco tried to combo it and I actually attribute 90% of Falco's incompetency to that. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. <laughs> For the record, I do think Wes had a lot of really cool shit, but neutral was just not it. It was other spot. It was other, it was other spots. I think it's zoo for me for the fourth spot. I got, I got to keep real with you. My sleeper pick for this was Papa Dave, believe it or not. This one, I feel like we have to do Zane. We have to do Ken. I'm not just doing doubles, so I, ha I, I'm sorry. I have to put M2K on here. There's no way I cannot put M2K on here. PPMD over Azin, guys. No, PP wasn't even a fucking Marth main. He was a dual main and played Marth for like two years. Azin was like actually a Marth main. I might put like K-Toy over PP, yeah. With doubles, it's PP, don't, no doubt. I think it's Azim, but if we counted for doubles, I think I'd, I would throw Kevin on like above Jason. I do agree Kevin would be like above Jason if this was including doubles. Azim won like four super majors. You guys are wild if you think that Azim comes off this list. I'm shocked how much people don't think about him. NTK was also like the Marth for 10 years, and he did invent a lot of the shit that we know. There's like no way you don't put Jason on here. So. No, these aren't ordered. Chat, none of this is ordered. Absolutely none of this is ordered. I'm not ordering them. I don't care enough to order them. Puff is just HBox, Mango. Uh, you, ha I, you have to put, people weren't putting King. Mango himself said King is like the reason he plays Puff. So there's, I think no universe, you don't have King on here. No, I wouldn't give it to two, I'm sorry. I do love two Saint. Two Saint just didn't accomplish enough. He didn't go to enough and accomplish enough. There's just not enough legacy. Not a Mango bias, by the way. No, he just actually should be on here for all three characters. Keep in mind, Mango's played for 15 years. I'll say, for as much as I hate some of the Mango glazing, this is actually what I consider the most impressive aspect of his career. Can I be honest with you, chat? I want to kill it or over Prince of Boo just because I have no desire to put Abi on this list because I know how big his fucking ego is. Honestly, Ludwig might be fourth, <laughs> which is fucking funny. Or impact? Who else has gone here, dude? Like, think about what think about what Mount Rushmore is. Is Dark better than top eighting a bunch of MLGs? I don't know. Who's that MLG Houston? Like, who'd you beat? Rob Money, you beat Dark Rain, Zulu. I don't know who. I know Dark Rain was good. I don't know Zulu Caveman, any of these people. What's MLG? Got four. Give me over. Chew that as in is crazy. Yeah, this guy was actually decent. None of the puffs have this result. He was also literally on MTV. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going with this guy.
I think I'm going with this guy. So Sheik gets a little fun here. Because I feel like you have to have Blup. You have to have M2K. You have to have Jmook. M2K is not a lock. That's actually true. M2K Sheik isn't... The thing is, I do think M2K created a lot of, mo again, modern edge guards. I feel like you have to lock M2K to some extent. So let me have the names down here. Here's the names everyone put here, and I'll, I'll go through my decision. Respect Borp? No. <laughs> Borp can be on the meme rush more. Yeah. KK gets carried by how much he contributed. I'm not ready to take him off yet, but I think he's on the lower end. I think you guys are kind of ignoring Dreffin. I don't think he gets on, but I do think people forget how good Dreffin was in like 2005 to 2010. No, it shouldn't be only solo mains, but I think it definitely helps your case if you were a solo main. Like, I definitely give Dreffin points for not switching off. The problem is, obviously, Jake's not coming off of this because he just won fucking Genesis and Collision. Like, that enough is just more than almost everyone here. And the amount of influence Jake had for Sheik is, like, pretty much unmatched right now. Outside of Plup. All right, Amso is really good. I'm going to respect Amso because early on, we have no idea how good he was relative to America, but he seems to just farm. If that's post-peak Amso, that's crazy. I got. I feel like I got to throw him on there. In the sense of how it was used, I don't view Jason Cheek that much differently than Mango's Fox. Obviously, in terms of how I like it, it's drastically different. But in terms of how it was used, I don't think of it that much differently. It's just Mango's also better. I'd put Jarefit as an auto mention. I think you just have to put Jason here. Like, I feel like there's no way you don't put Jason here. He did too much for Sheik edgeguarding. KK has done a lot, but Sheik actually has so much going on. Okay, so... Probably hacks. I feel like, is that just it? I feel like that's just it. Not an SJ over hacks? No, I think hacks had like... Hacks actually laid such an insane foundation for Falcon. I think if anyone here got overlooked it's silent specter and over johnny you are actually smoking crack what did isaiah do he was literally the first falcon and one super majors <laughs> isaiah is like cleanly on here no question i i think this one's clear for me okay this one is armada our amda our dama adam and the next one <laughs> i'm gonna be real <laughs> Nobody else deserves to be on this list. <laughs> can I can I can I be real? This is the one Mount Rushmore where it's like for me it actually feels like insulting to put the other peaches with Adam. And then I'll put like Court as an honorable mention. That's it. Alright, if I have to do this, I feel like it has to be Lod. That's for lost to as it's Pichu. Zuppy, you lost to Mango's Dr. Mario. You don't hear me shitting on you. Stop bringing up someone's losses. Stop bringing up losses. I hate when people do that. <laughs> that shit's fucked up. I'm down on Morsco this year. It happens. Okay, Triff hasn't went on me when I was top 10. Triff hasn't went on Leffen. Does have a win on Jason. We could do content one. That'd be funny. I'm down Ices. Let's do Ices. So we have Wobbles, Judat. Like you have to do just Flying Slug. That just did? I feel like that's just it. I feel like that's all, right? GG? All right, next one. <laughs> I guess Yoshi right now is the next best character, which is just Amsa and... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, got, I got another for you guys on this one. I'll put Vector Man, I guess. I'll put Nebby. They were top 100. I feel like Whiskers was better than Nebby. Just didn't travel. Fumi, I'll just put Fumi there. I'm going to trust you guys on that because I have no knowledge of Yoshi. Yoshi is just getting shafted here. I'm sorry. I'm not thinking about this one too hard. I actually think if you think Nebby was better than Whiskers, you're insane. I genuinely think Whiskers... I played both of them to a decent amount. I do think Whiskers was better than Nebby. Yeah, Whiskers was literally a top 50 player clo or close to it if he traveled. I don't know Yoshi's, man. I'm going to be real with you. I'll leave it as this. I have no idea. Pikachu is Axe. Not Jeju, no. Pikachu and Anther probably are on here, right? I feel like Pikachu and Anther would both be on here. Not Anth no, not for Anther's Ladder. Anther was actually really good. It has nothing to do with fucking Anther's Ladder. He was just legitimately really good. And probably Swift. Like, I actually think that's probably correct. Unless there's someone that I completely missed. No, it's not DK time. It's Samus time. Sounds good. We all agree. Uh, I think Plup is just the best Samus ever. No one's saying... You're not saying Duck? Have, not having Duck on here is crazy. Probably D.A. West. He just has the best career outside of that. Who's my next best character, in my opinion? Like, Luigi, Dr. Mario? 
So Eddie Sexico, bait. Probably Calm Master. Yeah, yeah, almost certainly Calm Master. Probably Calm Master Voodoojin. I'll put Plup and Honorable Mentions, because I do think Plup's a really funny honorable, honorable mention. I don't know who was better between Bleo and Voodoojin. Oh, Bleo also played for way longer. I, I think that's pretty clearly Bleo. Unless there's some Luigi man that I just don't know about at all. I guess Dr. Mario comes next. I think this one is just shroomed. <laughs> Bronze, I'm sure, is going to be on here somewhere. Wait, Caveman won an MLG with Doc? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Two-man tournament? <laughs> is that what we're working with here? What the hell happened here? <laughs> what the fuck is this? There's no way it was a two-man tournament, right? Obviously. Like, they just don't have the fucking information. I feel like this guy was probably cracked. Honestly, I'll give it to this guy for just winning a fucking MLG with Dr. Mario. All the Dr. Marios have said Bob Money. I'm inclined to believe that Dr. Mario is over any of you guys. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put multiple docs that said Bob Money. Oh, boy. This will be fun. Bum. Um, I feel like you're gonna have to put Junebug up there somewhere. Probably Ringler. I don't actually know who the four spot would go to. Probably Green Ranger, actually. Probably Green Ranger. With a Akir. Akir's been around for one year. Get Knight the Big House. Ganondorf. They are somehow all bad. Plus Kage. I would say Kage, Zaro, Flame, Eddie, Mech. Not a good list? None, none does not go on Ganon on here for Ganon, no. Yeah, because none barely uses Ganon. In the one year that Mech has played Ganon, he's already played it more than none has in bracket ever. Are you guys happy with this? I don't know. But you guys want Linguini? I don't know. I don't know what Ganon does. I didn't think Ganon would cause so much fucking controvers co controversy. This was like barely top 100, but he had just had a crazy influence. Eddie was literally a top 10 player. Yeah, there's no way you don't put Eddie on this. He's like the one Ganon I think I wouldn't take off. Of course, influence counts too, but not over Eddie. Take Titman off or Biz. Are we happy with this then? All right, next one. Cool. So what Marios were banned? Is Mango going to be on a fourth character? Brown Mario, I trust you totally, Butts. You're the Mario player. Totally, Butts, I'm going to need you for this one. Koopa should be on this. I'll trust you. I'll trust the Mario players. I have seen Sozin's clips. They're quite good. But the dude hasn't even competed yet. I'm putting Armada here for Mario and moving on. <laughs> Super Mario 64. Am I wrong? Where's the, wh where's, where's the issue? Why not PP's Mario over Armada's? Did PP get a sub 48 in Super Mario 64? I'll do Slim Shady. I, I know I watched a lot of him when I, when I was coming up. Wait, is he actually? Oh, that's awesome then. Cause then I can just go with uh, Voodoo Jam. Thank you for telling me that. Later. All right, we're getting to D-Gen territory here, which I'm sure is gonna be fun. Link is actually pretty easy, is it? We'd have Aklo, probably. Six is definitely on there. Save state and Souse, is that is? Is that actually just a list? Ackles and a full Link, bro. Is Mango a full Fox? Is Mango a full Falco? I don't know if Save State... That's true. Save State didn't really compete. That's true. That's true. That's true. So I'll give you a Honey Bear then. Fine. If Rocket's the only top 100 Link ever, then I'm going to put them there. Or does not belong on Young Link? Who, I can't even name another Young Link. Haven on Young Link for sure. This list is too much bias for modern play. Bro, I have Killer Or on here for Puff. I have as in for Mark. I have chillin' for Fox. What do you want from the fucking modern bias? All right, so let's go. I think Mewtwo can be kind of easy. I think Mewtwo's kind of underrated. So I do think Taj is obviously on here. I do think Leffen, funnily enough, is on here. Zoma was nasty from what I remember. Yeah, I got no one for the fourth Mewtwo. I'm gonna be real. Chad, do I pick up Mewtwo and become the fourth? Steve Unders? All right, sure. Why the fuck not? Sorry, I'm not spending more time on Mewtwo. We can't think of... If you guys can't even list someone other than Tor and Fast Hands, I'm doing this and moving on. Roy! Uh, don't test me, Theo. Probably lag. And... Sethlon? Lunchables didn't play Melee. Lunchables played Marth in Melee, I'm pretty sure. How much Melee did Sethlon play? I'm pretty sure he played enough. I guess we have Zelda. No, Zelda sucks. Let's do Game & Watch. We'll do Curb, we'll do Kuya for sure. Probably Glock. And who's the old... Is there an old school Game & Watch I don't know about? I don't care if Squeech you beat Skurzo. <laughs> We just not going on this list. I'd put Forrest on here before it. Is there really no other Game & Watch? I'm putting Forrest and moving on. It's been decided. I'm sorry, Squeechu. Unfortunately, regrettably, we go to Zelda. Uh, definitely the lake. Definitely Umbreon. I feel like you not having Dreffin on here is crazy, AVN. I get Dreffin is like uh, cheek, but the Dreffin played so much Zelda. I'd rather go this way. Who the fuck do we put on here for Peach? I would say M2K. I would say Codeman, probably. Listen. No one had as much impact as Pichu Kid, but he is banned, so I can't put him on the list. 
Is it bad that I don't know who Chaos is? Oh, Chaos is Pichu Kid? Oh, fuck yeah. I'm putting Pichu Kid on here then. That's, that's hilarious. I'm doing that one. I'm leaving that one on there for the memes. I'm sorry. I have to. I don't know. ICG? Sure. Why not? Moving on. So who the fuck is a Nest player? Is HBox unironically on here? Do we have like a consensus like inventor of Ness? KK has not competed with Ness yet, so I cannot add KK. You keep saying Nihilus. Bro, Murdoch is better. Who the fuck is Murdoch, man? Who are all these fucking low tier mains? Who is Mofo? I don't know Mofo. Mofo's better than Nihilus? Fine. Fuck you, Nihilus. Happy? Crazy Kirby kid got ninth at most three. Bro, I just think about how much people know about Melee and if they like put half the effort into getting good at their character, how the potential that all these people have that with their ability to keep this information in their head. Okay, can I think of Bowser at least? This is just Warrior Knight, uh, Sunflower, Gimpy Fish, and I guess Smash Daddy? Like, I don't fucking know. Oh, I'm so happy that this list is done. I'm putting Ginger on here. I don't care. Sure. All right, Happy and Aklo. Cool, I'm done. <laughs> I'm over this. I should have stopped after Peach, man. Wow, that was fun. Fun stream, guys. Great time had by all. Would you agree? Ackle on the rush board. Two characters, neither of which are his main. <laughs> That's actually so funny. Why were you guys more adamant about the low tiers than you were about, like, Fox? I've never seen such fucking vitriol. I would post this row and nothing below it. <laughs> And I'll give each one one honorable mention. I'll probably post a top one. I refuse to let Prince Abu on the list, by the way. Is Prince Abu banned? No, I just can't. I'm not giving him the ego boost. If you told me at the end of 2021, even after I won Summit 12, I would have said I'm not on this list. Straight up, I would have been like, no, not yet. No way. This is the year I entered it, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know if I get on the list after last year. I'll post this one, but I am going to mute it instantly. Well, that was fun chat. I hope you guys had a great time with me doing that because I sure as hell did until we got to the mid-load.